Hello, this is a demo of the simulated Arnstadt organ, which is the first organist's post that J.S. Bach had at the age of in his late teens in 1703. Um, this is instrument is a simulation of it using my prog organ, virtual pipe organ, and I'd now like to demonstrate some of the sounds. It's a rather curious disposition, a typical example of the Turingian school of organ building, which grew away from the more traditional Werk Princip type of organ to the north, as exemplified by the works of Schnitger. This organ at Arnstadt was by Wender. So here we go with some of the sounds. And first of all, the most important sound on any organ is its diapasons or principles and here of course being a German organ it's called a principle. the viol de gamba. My string tone stops were just becoming popular around that time. Um, they were mild by the standards of today's viol d'orchestra type of string um, and more like a Geigen diapason or a, a mild gamba. This is the viol de gamba I've simulated. Next, a gems horn, a sort of diapason or principle, but with tapered pipes. followed by a quintadina. This has got a very prominent twelfth speaking in its voice and it sounds correspondingly quite different to any of the previous ones. And the fifth example is a flute Again, still at unison, eight foot pitch. This one is called Grob Gedacht, G R O B, which actually means large, powerful, although the, uh, there are other meanings of the word in German which uh, amount to uncouth or rough. Uh, judge for yourself. It's useful to fill out other eight foot ranks, such as the principal. There's the flute, now add the principal to it. Take off the flute. There's one more eight foot stop on this main division, the Oberwerk, and it's a trumpet. Don't look for a powerful, smooth trumpet of the sort we get today. This one certainly isn't that.
now we can try a few combinations. Start with the principal and add the four foot octave to it. And to that, add the mixture. Another mixture, the cymbal. Here's what we've just had with the first mixture. Now add the cymbal. Now there's also a rather curious stop on this instrument. It's a, a quint. It sounds the fifth above the note played. Here's a principle, middle C. If I now add the quint, quinta it's called, it, it's an octave below what you'd normally get on a twelfth. It's a mystery as to why Venda included it. The quinta does not sit among the harmonics of the unison of the eight foot rank. It's a harmonic of the non-existent 16 foot rank. There is no 16 foot. Did he therefore want to try and get a fake resultant 16 foot effect? And if so, does it work? I leave you to judge. Here's a trial. Here's the principle on its own. Here's the principle with the quinta. I'll add the quinta to the fairly full combination that we had before. Principle, didact, octave, two mixtures, which was this sound. Now with the quinta. flavour and to that we can also add the trumpet and that is essentially the full Oberwerk. Exhausted more or less the possibilities on the Oberwerk, let's turn to the subsidiary man manual, the Brustwerk. And this also has a flute, but it's called Stillgedacht, Quiet Gedacht. It wouldn't have been all that quiet sitting at the console of Vendor's organ because the pipes would have been pretty much in front of your face. And this is what it sounds like here. principle on the Brustwerk, as is often the case in Baroque German organs, is at four, four foot. So here's the Stillgedacht, add to it the principle. two other four foot ranks on the Brustwerk. Let's play the principle again. There's also a Nacht horn and the Spitzflöter. Not much different really. And in fact the Nacht horn, we believe, was added either during or subsequent to the build of Fender's organ because it did not appear in his original contract of 1699 which is still extant. The, 
the Spitzflirter and the Stillgedacht are actually quite nice together. <laughs> There's a quint, which in this case is not the strange sub-quint that we had on the Oberberg, but it's a twelfth. So let me add it to the two flutes. Two flutes, quint. And we can add the mixture to that and the principle. Sesquialtero, which is a two rank mixture. In this case, it introduces a third sounding rank, which the other mixtures did not. So it's basically a TS uh, plus a twelfth on its own. It sounds like this. Put the stop on. You can get some interesting synthetic effects with a Sesquialtero, and I'll add it to the two flutes. against the Grobgedacht on the Oberberg and adding the tremulant, you can really hear the sesquialtera singing away. pedals there are only four stops. Uh, two of them are of particular interest perhaps to you. There's a 16 foot reed, the Passone. There's also a two foot reed inside the organ, the two foot reeds, tiny little pipes, stand in front of their massive cousins on the same soundboard. So here's the two-foot cornet. And to complete the tonal palette of this organ, there are two Cymbalsteiner, which uh, are rotating stars as far as the eye is concerned in, uh, from the congregation down in the church but actually they consist here of hammers hitting small gongs inside the organ but one of them plays a broken chord an arpeggio in the key of C major the other plays the same except in the key of G major here's the C major one You can hear it winding up as the wind turbine increases in speed. And the same with the G major one. Now we like the C major one to it. You like toy stops they're quite fascinating so finally what I'm going to do now is um, just play on full organ and I've got something that Bart didn't have which is a general piston and there we are I've got it I'll add the um, symbol stands to it and this is what it sounds like
little council piston. Thanks for watching.